All right, here's an odd duck. What do we have on the workbench today? Um, this is an, um, from 1999, they made these for, you know, the 2000 year, for the millennium year. Budweiser came out with a brand, uh, just a can brand, I think. I think it was standard Budweiser, but it was, it was labeled the millennium edition. Um, anyway, this sign was available on Facebook Marketplace. I drove a little bit, drove an hour to get it. Um, it looked like the neon was complete. And they said it was working, the plug got mashed, so they replaced the, the plug end, but they couldn't get it to work. So I noodled around with it, looked at, you know, chased down, you know, section by section, binary search for the problem, right? Um, and here's the old power supply. So I had to get a new power supply, I guessed. They, they don't make that power supply from 1999 anymore, of course. So I guessed at one from the same manufacturer um, used on eBay. Again, you know, you double down, double down. Um, but all the neon looked intact, both on the red, and there is a white piece of neon in inside. And when I turn it on, I'll try to let you see, but it, some of this some of this gold does illuminate lightly. So um, you do get some backlighting through on the gold um, and then the Budweiser on the front. Um, a lot of the pictures I had looked on eBay and things, and you know, where people were selling these, and you really couldn't tell that there was a backlight in here. So I was kind of pleased um, that you know it was intact and, in fact, working. So let me plug it in. Back up a little bit here, and I'm going to turn off this fluorescent light just to give us a little more contrast. But you can kind of see the filigree has some illumination, and the you know, the Budweiser is working. Um, sorry for my cold. But um, I was pretty pleased with this now. It's a good man cave, you know, basement wall hanger. Hangs on two chains. Um, not real heavy, but uh, so I got to find a place for this or move it on to somebody who will appreciate it. Uh, it was fun, you know, figuring it out. It was my first neon sign that I ever worked on. Um, and of course, neon, it's like, it's, if the glass is broken, it's a major problem. Um, and to do all this all this over again would have been cost prohibitive. But I took a gamble, uh, had to buy the, the, the transformer replacement. Um, we thought it was a switch, but it, it, it turned out that it was the whole thing. So anyway, another survivor. Thanks for watching.